Welcome back to Move with Nicole. Today's class is a classical Matt Pilates inspired class. You won't need any equipment, just yourself and a mat. So when you're ready, let's begin. Let's start today's class in a seated position. Bend your knees in front of you and then hug your knees in close into your chest coming up high onto your tippy toes. Drop your chin down towards your chest and just give yourself a nice big hug. Taking a moment to drop into your body and into the present moment here on your mat. Then carefully lift your chest and walk your feet out a little bit and open them to the width of the mat. Lightly hold on to the top of your shin and inhale, roll your shoulders back, shine your chest forward. Then exhale, round your spine and gaze towards your navel. Three more. Inhale, open your chest, roll your shoulders back. Then exhale, round your spine, dropping your chin down to your chest. Two more, moving with your breath. Last one, inhale, open through your heart a little bit more and then exhale around your spine. Beautiful, come to a neutral spine now, really lengthening up through the crown of your head and then place your right arm on the inner part of your right leg. On your inhale, reach your left arm open, twisting through your waist and then exhale, switch sides. Take your left hand to the inner part of your left leg. Then inhale, reach your right arm back, twisting from your waist. One more on each side. Inhale, stretch your left arm open. Exhale, return through center. Inhale, stretch your right arm open. Grow tall through the crown of your head. And then exhale, return through center. Walk your feet in now, hip distance apart, and hold on to the back of your thighs. Then very carefully, vertebra by vertebra, roll yourself down onto your back. Let's start the classical way with our hundreds. So imprint your spine, gently pressing your lower back into the mat, and then lift your legs to a tabletop position, squeezing your thighs together. Reach your arms up to the sky, and then lift your head and shoulders up, reaching your hands by your hips. Now stay here with your legs in tabletop or extend your legs up to the sky. Let's pump our arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Stay here, or if you want more of a challenge, turn your legs out and lower your legs down to the diagonal. Keep going. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Really reach forward with your fingertips, lifting your head and shoulders up nice and high off the mat, and keep your chin slightly lowered, gazing towards your thighs. Keep pumping those arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Last round. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Beautiful job. Rest your head and hug your knees in. Then place your feet down on the floor and shuffle them slightly forward. Let's do our roll ups. So reach your arms up to the sky and then keeping your ribs in, reach your arms back by your ears. On your inhale, lift your head and shoulders, take your hands behind your thighs and walk yourself up. Then exhale, reach your arms forward, round your spine and draw your navel back. Inhale, roll down, vertebra by vertebra. Then exhale, reach your arms back. And again, inhale, roll up. Use the help of your legs if you need to. Exhale, reach forward, drawing your navel back. Inhale, roll down, vertebra by vertebra. Then exhale, reach your arms back. Stay with this or extend your legs straight and squeeze your thighs together. Keep going, inhale, roll up. 
Exhale, reach forward, drawing your navel back as you reach your hands forward. Inhale, roll down with control and exhale, reach your arms back. Two more like this, either keeping your knees bent or doing the full version with your legs straight. And last one, inhale, roll up. Exhale, reach forward a little bit more. Inhale, roll down with control. And exhale, reach your arms back. Beautiful job. Place your arms down by your side now. Roll your shoulders down and back and draw your belly button down towards the floor. Bend your right knee in and extend your right leg straight up to the sky. Let's do our single leg circles. So on your inhale, lower your leg down, cross it over your left and exhale, lift it up. So inhale as you lower, exhale as you cross and lift. Three more. Only taking the circle as big as you can without rocking your hips. Now let's reverse. Inhale, lower and cross. Exhale, open and lift. Inhale, cross and lower. Exhale, open and lift. Three more. Keep your hips nice and still. Last one. Well done. Now bend your right knee. Take your left hand on top of your right knee and your right hand to the outer part of your right shin. Then lift your head and shoulders up and lift your left leg off the floor. Pull your knee in two times. Exhale, exhale, inhale, switch. Exhale, exhale, inhale, switch. Eight more. Try to stay lifted through your head and shoulders, really dropping your ribs down towards your hips, using your abdominals to keep your head and shoulders lifted. Just two more. And last one. Hold your left knee into your chest. Carefully lower your right leg down and lower your head. Then place your arms down by your side and extend your left leg up to the sky. Back to our leg circles. So inhale, lower your leg down slightly to the side. Exhale, cross it over your right and lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, cross and lift. Three more. Remember, keep those hips still. Last one. Now reverse. Inhale, cross, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, open and lift. Three more. Taking the circle as big or as little as you can. Last one. Well done. Bend your left knee. And then also bend your right knee in towards your chest for our double leg stretch. Lift your head and shoulders up and hug your knees in. On your inhale, open your arms and legs out. Then exhale, hug everything in. Inhale, open and exhale, close. Eight more. When you open your arms and legs out, Make sure that you're not arching your spine. So really think of that rib to hip connection and make sure that you're keeping your lower back in contact with the floor. You're doing really well. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Just three more. You can do it. Two. And last one. Excellent job. Now for our straight leg stretch. Reach your right leg up to the sky and your left leg long and pull your leg in two times. Exhale, exhale, inhale, switch. Exhale, exhale, inhale, switch. Eight more. Straighten those legs as much as you can and lift your head and shoulders up a little bit higher. Four more. Three, two, and one. Now extend both legs up to the sky Turn your legs out and place your hands behind your head. On your inhale, lower both legs down to the diagonal, then exhale, lift them up. Inhale, lower, ribs to hips. Exhale, lift. This is a challenging exercise, so only lower your legs as much as you can without straining your lower back. So really think of that rib to hip connection and pulling your navel down towards the floor. You've got it. Three more to go. Inhale, lower. 
Exhale, lift. Two more, we're almost there. And last one. Well done. Now for our crisscross or our bicycles. On your exhale, bend your left knee, lower your right leg, twist to the left, inhale, center. Exhale, twist right, inhale, center. So you twist and twist. Just six more. Five, four, try to lift your head and shoulders up a little bit more. Two and one. Ouch, rest your head. Hug your knees in and take a quick breather. Okay, from here, hug both knees into your chest again. Lift your head and shoulders, tucking your chin in, and then rock the length of your spine up to seated. Let's perform our roll like a ball. So hug your knees in towards your chest, just kind of like how we started class. Come up onto your tippy toes and hold on to the tops of your ankles. Then tuck your chin in towards your chest, Shift your weight back and lift your feet just off the floor, finding your balance. On your exhale, rock back. Then inhale, rock up, keeping your feet off the floor. And again, exhale, rock back. Inhale, rock up. Three more. Keep nice and tight in this little ball. Two. And last one. Beautiful job. Let's hold at the top now and then straighten your legs out in front of you and open them mat distance apart. Then flex your feet, sit up nice and tall and extend your arms forward in front of your shoulders. On your inhale, lengthen through your spine, relax your shoulders. Then on your exhale, draw your navel back towards the back of the mat as you reach your arms forward, really rounding through your spine. Then inhale, lift your chest, bringing your shoulders back over your hips and lengthening through your spine. And again, exhale, reach your arms forward as you draw your navel back, really rounding through your spine. And then inhale, lengthen your spine, reaching up through the crown of your head. Beautiful. Two more. Just one more. Can you reach your arms forward a little bit more as you draw your navel back? And then inhale, lengthen your spine. Release your arms now and let's return to our roll like a ball position. Except I have a little surprise for you this time. So hover your feet off the floor, tuck your chin in. Then exhale, rock back, inhale, roll up, find your balance, and then extend one leg out, and then the other leg out, finding your open leg rocker position. Then bend your knees and tuck your chin back in. And again, exhale, rock back, inhale, rock up, open your chest and open your legs out into that open leg rocker. Let's do that one more time. Bend your knees in, Exhale, rock back, inhale, rock up, and then open your legs out into that open position. Now stay with that, or if you wanna do the full open leg rocker, take an inhale to prepare, then exhale, tuck your chin in, rock back, then inhale, rock up, find your balance, and open through your heart. And again, exhale, drop your chin, rock back, Inhale, rock up, find your balance and lengthen as much as you can through your spine. Just two more, you can do it. Exhale, rock back. Inhale, rock up. One more, this is super challenging. Well done. Close your legs together. Take one more deep breath in and then carefully lower your legs down to the mat. Flex your feet. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, fold forward over your legs. From here, carefully lift your chest, bend your knees in hip distance apart and take your hands underneath your shoulders with your fingertips pointed forward. Then lift your hips up and shine your chest up to the sky just to feel a beautiful release for your hip flexors. Then lower your hips, 
cross your legs and shift your weight forward onto your hands and your knees. Let's work our arms. So make sure that your hands are underneath your shoulders and your knees are underneath your hips. Really lengthen your spine and really draw your navel in. On your inhale, lower your elbows down towards the floor, keeping your hips over your knees and then shift your weight forward, squeezing your elbows in by your waistline and then exhale, press up. And again, inhale, lower your elbows down, shift your weight forward and exhale, press up. We do eight more like this. Really try to keep your elbows tucked in. Be careful that they don't open out to the side. That way you'll really work your triceps a lot more. You've got it. Inhale lower, shift forward, exhale, press up. Keep thinking about your core. So keep lifting your navel up towards your spine and really focus on keeping your spine nice and straight. Just two more to go, you can do it. And on this last one, let's hold with our elbows bent and take a little pulses. You lift and lift. You can do it, press through your hands. Seven, six, can you roll your shoulders back a little bit more? Four more, three, two, and one. Press yourself up and press back into a well-deserved child's pose. Take a quick breath here. Nice inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Okay, shift your weight forward now and lower yourself down onto your belly. Open your legs so that they are mat distance apart. Rest your forehead on the mat and then bend your elbows out at a 90 degree angle with your elbows in line with your shoulders. Really draw your navel in and slightly tuck your hips under, squeezing your glutes. Then lift your chest off the floor, keeping your gaze down and lift your elbows up. On your inhale, stretch your arms forward and then exhale, pull your elbows back, squeezing your shoulder blades down and back. So inhale as you reach forward, exhale as you pull your elbows back. Keep your neck in one long line with your spine, so keep your gaze down towards the floor and really think of lifting up through your navel. Now stay with this, or if you can, squeeze your glutes and lift your legs up. Keep going, inhale, reach forward, exhale, pull back. Just four more. Really point through your toes, extending through your legs. Two more. And last one, let's hold our elbows back now and lift our arms for 10, nine, you've got it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, beautiful. Rest your head on your hands and just wiggle your hips to release any tension. Okay. Let's return our arms out to that 90 degree angle. Make sure that your legs are mat distance apart. Draw your navel in and lift your chest and your arms off the floor again. Then squeeze your glutes, lift your legs. Start beating your heels together. You beat, 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 beat. Now keep going with the legs. On your exhale, reach your arms forward. Then inhale, flip your palms out, reach your arms back and lift your chest a little bit more. And again, exhale, bend your elbows, reach your arms forward. Inhale, flip your palms out and sweep your arms back, lifting your chest. Three more like this. Keep beating your heels together, squeezing your glutes. Two more. As you sweep your arms back, can you lift your chest up a little bit higher? Last one, exhale, reach forward and inhale, reach back. Beautiful job. Rest your head onto your hands and wiggle your hips again. Then place your hands underneath your shoulders. Press yourself up and back into a child's pose. Take one deep breath here. 
just enjoying this counter stretch for your spine. Okay, now time for probably always my favorite part of class, which is our side lying series. So lower down onto the left side of your body, resting your head in your hand, and extend your legs straight out with your legs stacked on top of one another. Then slide your legs forward to the bottom corner of your mat, lift your right leg up and back in line with your hip, and tuck your left toes under to give you a little bit more stability. Now stay here with your right fingertips on the floor in front of you, or for an extra challenge, take your right hand behind your head. Let's do our bicycles. So inhale, bend your right knee, extend your leg forward, then exhale, sweep your leg back. Inhale, bend, extend your leg forward in line with your hip, and exhale, sweep back. Three more in this direction, and then we'll reverse. Two more. Keep your hips stacked on top of one another. And last one. Now reverse. Inhale, kick your legs straight forward. Exhale, bend and extend it back. Inhale, kick forward. Exhale, bend and extend back. Just three more. Really keep your core engaged, trying to keep your whole body still. It's just the leg moving. And last one. Beautiful, hold your leg back and let's take little circles. Four, 10, and nine, eight. Really reach through your toes, elongating through your leg. Four more, three, two, one. Now reverse, four, 10, and nine. Keep your core engaged and see if you can lift your leg up just a little bit higher. Four more, three, two, and one. Now for our hot potato. Tap the floor two times and lift, then tap forward two times and lift. Inhale as you tap, exhale as you lift. Six more, five, four, you've got it, three. This is a fun one, two. And one, excellent. Hold your leg back in line with your hip. And now prop yourself up onto your left forearm. Let's release our left toes now. And then reach your right arm by your ear, turning your chest slightly to the mat. Little combo. On your inhale, sweep your leg forward as you sweep your arm back. Exhale, return through center. Then on your inhale, turn your chest towards your legs. Join your legs together and lift up into a supported teaser. Then exhale with control, return to your starting position. And again, inhale, sweep your leg forward as you sweep your arm back. Exhale, return through center. Then inhale, turn your chest to your legs and lift your legs up into teaser. Okay, let's do three more like this. Inhale, kick forward. Exhale, kick back. Inhale, lift up into teaser. Maybe see if you can extend your left arm forward as well. And then exhale, return to your starting position. Two more, kick forward, kick back. Inhale, teaser. Can you release both arms? Excellent job. Just one more, you can do it. Roll up into teaser one last time. See if you can release both arms. Beautiful job. Let's hold in our starting position with our right leg extended back and take little lifts. Four, 10, nine, eight, seven, you've got it. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, beautiful. Bend both knees now, coming up into your mermaid position. On your inhale, reach your left arm up and over. Then exhale, take your forearm to the floor and reach your right arm by your ear. One more, inhale, stretch your left arm up and over. Then exhale, lower and reach your right arm by your ear. Beautiful job. Lift your chest and let's take it straight to the other side. So lower down onto the right side of your body, 
Rest your head in your hand, extend your legs straight, stacking your hips on top of one another, and then shuffle your feet forward to the bottom corner of your mat. Then extend your left leg back in line with your hip and tuck your right toes under for extra stability. Either keep your left fingertips on the floor in front of you or take your left hand behind your head for an extra challenge. Starting with our bicycles. Inhale, bend your left knee, extend your leg forward and exhale, kick your leg back. Inhale, bend, extend forward, exhale, kick back. Three more. Keeping your leg at the same height as you move it forward and back and really focus on keeping your hips nice and still. Last one. Now let's reverse. Inhale, kick forward. Exhale, bend and extend your leg back. Inhale, kick forward. Exhale, bend and extend. Three more. Drop your ribs down to your hips, making sure that you're not arching your spine as you extend your leg back. Last one. Beautiful, hold your leg back and draw little circles for 10 and nine, eight. Really reach through your toes, lengthening as much as you can through your leg. Three more, two and one. Now reverse for 10, nine. Keep your hips nice and still, really using our core here to stabilize ourselves. Three more, two, and one. Now for the hot potato. Tap the floor two times, exhale lift, then tap forward, exhale lift. Inhale tap, exhale lift, inhale tap, exhale lift. Six more. You've got it. Four more. Lift that leg up nice and high. Two and one. Hold your leg back in line with your hip and then prop yourself up onto your right forearm for our little combo. Extend your left arm by your ear and slightly turn your chest towards the mat. Inhale, kick your leg forward as you sweep your arm back. Exhale, return through center. Then inhale, turn your chest to your legs, lift your legs up into your teaser and exhale, lower yourself down with control. And again, inhale, kick forward. Exhale, kick back. Inhale with control, lift up into teaser, straightening your right arm. Then exhale, control yourself down. Three more like this, you can do it. Inhale, kick forward. Exhale, kick back. Inhale, roll up into teaser. Maybe see if you can stretch both arms forward this time. And then carefully lower down. Keep going, just two more. This is a challenging one, so just do your best. You've got it. Okay, last one. Inhale, kick forward. Exhale, kick back. Inhale, lift up into teaser. Lift both arms if you can. Well done. Lower back down and let's finish with those leg lifts. Four, ten, nine, eight. Really lengthen through your spine. Six, five, four, three, two and one press yourself up bend both knees and let's take our mermaid stretch inhale reach your right arm up and over then exhale lower your forearm to the floor and reach your left arm by your ear one more inhale reach your right arm over then exhale lower and reach your left arm by your ear beautiful job everyone Okay, we only have one more series left of class. So let's cross our legs and come into a plank position. Make sure that your shoulders are stacked over your wrists, your hips are low and you're really drawing your navel in. On your exhale, lift your right leg back, point your toe, inhale lower, exhale lift your left leg back, inhale lower. Eight more. Keep everything else still, you're just lifting your leg up. Keep your gaze towards the top edge of your mat. You can do it, let's do four more. Three, keep drawing your navel up. Two, and one. And then walk your hands back towards your feet, bend your knees, 
and roll up to standing. On your inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, release, tuck your chin in and roll back down. Then walk your hands forward, returning into your plank position. This time on your inhale, reach your left arm up to the sky, opening into a side plank. Exhale, lower your hips down to the floor. Inhale, press them up, reach your arm by your ear. And exhale, we switch sides. Inhale, open your right arm up to the sky. Exhale, lower your hips with control. Inhale, lift your hips up, reach your arm by your ear. And exhale, switch sides. We do eight more like this. Really try to move with control here and move with your breath. Inhale, open. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, center. Keep going. As you lift your hips up, really think of lifting up through the side of your waist and press down through your hand, pressing down through your shoulder to lift your hips up a little bit higher. You are doing so well. We're almost at the end of class, so stay with me. Keep breathing. Okay, just two more to go. You're so strong. And last one, make it your best one yet. Excellent job, return to your plank and let's finish by pulling our knees across our chest. So exhale, pull your right knee to your left tricep, inhale center, exhale, pull your left knee across, inhale center. Keep going, pull across, center, pull across and center, six more like this. Press down through your shoulders, lift up through your navel. You've got this, only two more, then we're done. And last one. Excellent job, lower your knees and press back into a well-deserved child's pose. Let your forehead rest on the mat here and take deep breaths. Then walk your hands over to the left really stretching across your body with your right arm and reach your left arm back with your palm facing down. This should feel really nice after all the hard work that you've done today. Then from here, keep your left hand where it is and gently lift your chest up. On your inhale, lift your hips up and reach your right arm back by your ear, feeling a beautiful opening through the front side of your body. Then carefully lower yourself down and return to your child's pose. Then walk your arms over to the right, really stretching across with your left arm and reach your right arm back with your palm facing down. Taking nice deep breaths into the left side of your body here. Then keep your right hand where it is, lift your chest, lift your hips up and reach your left arm by your ear, really shining your heart up to the sky. Beautiful. Carefully release your hips down and then shift your weight onto your side and let's come to a seated position with our right leg straight in front of us and our left knee open to the side. Flex your right foot. Inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, hinge forward. Feeling a nice release through the back of your right leg and through your left hip. Then carefully roll yourself up and let's switch sides. Extend your left leg, open your right knee. Inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, fold forward. Then very carefully lift your chest, join the soles of your feet together and open your knees. On your inhale, lengthen your spine, open through your heart and exhale, fold forward from your hips, 
keeping your spine as straight as you can. Then carefully lift your chest and let's come to a comfortable cross-legged position on our mat to finish class like always. On your inhale, reach your arms up to the sky and exhale, lower your hands down to your heart. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's classical inspired class. If you would like to see more videos like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much again and I hope you have the most beautiful day.